What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Art Statue Collector. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some product from Toy Laxi, as well as doing a review of their Iron Man statue over here. Now Toy Laxi is fairly a new company in Thailand with Marvel license. So uh, I met the owner accidentally like a couple weeks back and he really likes my gallery. He asked if I wanna show off his products here and I said, yeah, sure, bring it. Uh, so today we're gonna be showing you guys how to order these things and see what they are. All right, let's check out the Avengers Endgame line first. This is the Wave 1. This is Mark 85. Very cool with a translucent. Nice. And then you have short hair Thor with a lightning effect in the back. You can actually move it if you don't like. But uh, yeah, he has short hair, so I think that's from Infinity War, not in game. But I think I like him the most anyway, so that's cool. All right. These two are $33. And then moving on to uh, Captain Endgame with Mornia, you can actually remove this and the shield as well, if you don't like. So this is the most expensive one, is $41. Okay, and moving on, we have Thanos himself with a gauntlet, it doesn't light up or anything. And his weapon and all armor up, he's pretty heavy. And then you have Smart Hawk with his suit. Very cool. All right. So uh, Thanos and Hawk is $35. Captain is $41. And Thor and Iron Man are $33. All right. Now let's check out that Endgame Wave 2. Here we have Ant-Man just running. And then we have Hawkeye, ready to shoot his bow. But I broke the string here, it's mixed media, but just need a little glue, that's fine. These two right here are $47. Now to the Black Widow. You can see uh, she has two color hair here, very cute. She is $44 the cheapest of the bunch. And here we have War Machine with the guns, very cool. And I think this is probably the best looking one. Captain Marvel, you have some uh, really cool clear resin right here, along with her power as well. Okay, her and War Machine is $49 each. These 10 are from the Wave 1 and 2, as you can see on the pamphlet right here. So you can make a little diorama around Thanos, you know, all the superheroes fighting him. Pretty cool. All right, now we're getting to the Wave 3. These are limited edition, I believe because it comes with the certificate of authenticity and you also get the number in the back as well on all of them. So it's a special edition. Uh, this is Black Panther. And I believe he maybe glow under the black light as well, I'm not sure. But look at the color, very cool. And with the power effect, very nice. And Tony Stark when he's about to snap his finger with the gauntlet in his hand. The very iconic scene right here. Pretty nice detail. It's got some weight to it as well. And Doctor Strange. This is really cool. Very nice detail. The power effect as well, very cool. And he's taller than the other. And here we got Iron Spider, Endgame, holding the gauntlet. Very nice. A 
Cool, so uh, yeah, all four of these are $55. And then we have the fan favorite, I think. Fat Thor on throne. Like the base, it's pretty heavy as well, but the base, really well done, man. Very nice, sitting on the couch having a beer with Monia and Stormbreaker in the back. Very cool, this one is $64 and it's very limited, I believe. It's almost sold out, I think he's told me. All right, so that's all three waves of the end game. All right, and as you can see, they have acrylic stand that they sell separately, but I'm not sure how much they sell it for, but there are different height on each. It will make your uh, display looks better, I believe, like, so you will have depth and dimension, which is cool. All right, now let's get to that Blackpink series. These are from YG Entertainment license, which not many people get. All right, let's check it out. This is uh, Jenny from the band. If you know who Blackpinks are, you know they are very popular worldwide. Very cool. All right, next up you have Rose, the blonde girl. Very cool. These are pretty cute actually, with the premium PVC as well. Nice glossy hair, okay. Next one is Jisoo. That's very cool, very rock. Looks very good, man. And last but not least, Lisa from Thailand, hey. All right, but uh, this is a real material, so it's mixed media, so be careful with that. Very cool, nice pose. Okay, cool. Uh, they are all $55 a piece, and to get Lisa now, you would have to buy the whole set to get her. She will not be sold separately anymore because they are running out of it. All right, so now we're gonna unbox this Iron Man Hall of Armor and review it. Let's go. All right, so we just finished assembling this guy and I'm telling you, man, I did not expect it to be this good. Wow, man, like the materials and everything, I'll uh, explain it in a bit, but let's check out the certificate. Look, it's a Marvel license with Toilaxi and this is number 61 out of 99. So only 99 of them are made. That is super limited, bro. Uh, I'm not sure what scale they are supposed to be, maybe a 1-6 scale, I'm guessing. So it's Marvel Comics line. Let's go. Check out the base. I really like this teal metallic color, man. It got really good weight to it. Some real metals in there. Um, everything just packed in really nicely. And also look at the base. Here you can actually move the figure 360. So you can pose him however you like. Also, uh, you can put the Iron Man helmet 
instead as well there's two portraits and one with helmet and there's a lot of easter egg right here like you can see the Hawkbuster hand is on the table another all damaged helmet over here and he got like two different suits this kind of looks like a Mark 5 suit and this looks like a Mark 1 in gold and you can actually take them out and replace it with Tony himself if you like and you just put this body inside here the Iron Man itself has different switch out for each arm depends on how you like it and the portraits over there but it's basically similar to it this screen this is plastic by the way but uh, the decal everything looks really good like everything just feel very really premium this part right here you can place it wherever you like behind him be careful because there are three parts to it and it's holding a pretty good amount of weight here so yo man it's a good little diorama I guess um, man you know they send this to me new <laughs> brand new and I think they just kind of enabled me so they probably know that I'm gonna buy it anyways wow but um, I honestly did not think about buying it until we just unboxed it right about now man it's crazy like the level of details that they did on this just look at it man I wish the only thing though if they have the light up function to go with this that would be so awesome like you know have like the base lit up and also like the table and the screen right here that would look so dope I'm thinking about just getting it and put it right behind where I work that would look pretty cool yeah All right, man, that's it for the unboxing and review. I think it's great, man. And uh, the price I forgot to tell you is $750 for the you know, 99 edition size. I think that's great. Um, if you like anything that you see here, you can hit me up and I'll tell you how to order it because everything is licensed for Thailand only. So you can't really order direct, but uh, they will tell me how you can order them. So just hit me up or hit them up. I'll put the link down in the description and they can actually help you with that. So overall, I think uh, these little figurines are cool. It's, it's a great gift for your you know, kids or your far friends, family, whatever. Like, and uh, the Blackpink series, I think the wifey would love it, man. Like girlfriends, I think they will appreciate it if they are a fan of Blackpink anyways. And I'm telling you, man, this hall of armor here, dude, just wait until I take photos of them. 
You're gonna love it, dude. I'm telling you, like the color, everything just so pop. Bro, I think definitely keeping this. So if you wanna see more of anything, just let me know or have any question, hit me up. And thank you for watching once again. I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.